Kia ora, and this is the second part of the 2008 DE question about the number of students in a school who know a rumour. So make sure you've gone and watched part one first. So what we've got on the screen is left over from the previous video. Um, we started out, remember, with this differential equation here. And from there, we got an expression for the number of students in who know the rumour after t days. So in this part of the video, I'm going to look at these two questions here. We're told that to start with, 0.5% of the students know the rumour initially. And um, the question is buried in here. The principal has to stop the rumour somehow once more than half the school students know it. So that's the question. It's not that obvious. Um, and when one-fifth of the students know the rumour, the number who know the rumour is increasing at this rate. So how long until he or she has to act? i put um, where we got to on the slide. So this equation is my solution. But remember, it's still got two um, unknowns. It's got A and K. Now, P is not an unknown. P is the school population. So that's a constant. So we don't have to stress out about P. Um, and this was where we started. This is my differential equation telling me the rate of change. So what we need to do is to turn the two facts that we've got into mathematical conditions. So when T is 0, 0.5% of the students know the rumour. So here's what we can do with that. Um, we've got when t is 0, n is equal to 0.005p. So we're going to work with that one in this equation, substituting in t is equal to 0. We know that's going to be nice. This one is one that we can work into the differential equation itself. So when one-fifth of the students know the rumour, um, then dn by dt is equal to 0 0.08 so we get 0.08p is equal to some condition here. So what we can say there is if one-fifth know the rumour, the number who know the rumour is equal to 0.2p. So we're going to substitute this into this side and this into this side. I'm going to go quite slowly through this, so if you're finding this straightforward, just skip through to the end. There will be a mystery song um, and the prize will be chocolate, and I promise that I will deliver the chocolate this time. Okay, so let's start with what we call the initial condition. Um, so we've got n is equal to this. So our goal at the end of this part is to have either a or k sorted out, and it's going to be a. Um, when t is 0, n is equal to this. Whoops, not enough zeros. There we go. So we've got that equals PA e to the power of 0 over 1 plus A e to the power of 0. So we like that. That gives us 0.005p is equal to PA over 1 plus A. Rearranging, I get, let's see, I'll do it slowly, 1 plus A. times that is PA. So we're going to collect up all of the terms with A on the right hand side. So we're going to have A times P minus 0 0.005P, which is A. So we're going to end up with P is equal to, what is taking me so long? P is equal to 0.995P. Right, so in the end that gives me P, A is equal to P, I've lost 0 0.05 there, haven't I? There, that's better. Sorry guys, it's been a very long week, there we go, 0 0.005P, 0 0.995. Now that looks horrible until you remember that A is just equal to 5 over 995. Or you could reach for your calculator, but I wouldn't do that. You're better to see it as a fraction. So A is equal to 1 over 199. So that's good. We've got the first thing solved. Now we're just going to park that for now. Uh, we could go and substitute it straight into here. Um, yeah, no, I am going to substitute it straight into there now. So N is equal to P times A. So 
so just cleaning that up gives me P, 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 P K T divided by 199 plus E to the P K T. Right, so what we've got now is a better expression for N because we don't have A in there, but we've still got K. So now we move to the second part, which is using the DE to say that 0.08P is equal to K times 0.2P times P minus 0.2P. So if you're forgetting where that came from, that was from my initial DE. So just skip back to the slide with the differential equation on it and you'll see where that was. Okay, so cleaning that up gives me the stuff that magically just appeared on the screen. And now we're ready to go. We've got, so we've got K figured out and we can now substitute K into here. And that's going to finally give me an expression for N that doesn't have A and doesn't have K. So let's see what we're up to now. We've got N is equal to P times E to the power of P times K, which has very nicely got a P in the denominator, giving me that, divided by 199 plus B to the power of this. Okay, so here's the um, chocolate prize. First person to tell me who sings this song gets the chocolate. Right, there you go. Um, that's just in case study was getting really very boring. So the last thing we're going to do is um, figure out when the principle has to act. So we've got 1 half t uh, over 199 plus e to the power of a half t. So when does he have to do something, he or she have to do something? Well, it's when half the students have figured out the rumour, have heard the rumour. So that's when n is equal to half the population. So we're solving a half p is equal to p e to the half t divided by 199 plus e to the half t. Right, so we're nearly there, just a little bit to go. We can uh, divide both sides through by p because it's positive. We're going to get a half times 199 plus e to the power of a half t is equal to e to the power of a half t. Okay, so the very last bit, and I'm really sorry about the background noise, is 99.5 plus 0.5e to the 0.5t is equal to e to the 0.5t. Right, that gives me 99.5 is equal to a half e to the half t. So it's e to the half t. You're probably not watching. Hopefully you're not watching by now. Um, we take, take logs of both sides. So t is equal to 2 times log of 90, 199. And that gives me 10 point something. Oh, sorry, stylus is going really bad, guys. So this t is 10.56. So he has to act after 11 days. All right. Thanks for watching, um, and that's all for now. Hope you have a good weekend off.